This is Switzerland, and my seventh day on the road. Today, we gather our final energy to push 31 kilometers and finish the week of hiking. The day itself does not offer too many amazing views, but it's a nice stroll, and we do pass some seaworthy places, with this as our final destination. This is part of Tour de Mont Blanc, which is apparently very popular. If you stay through the video, I'll tell you why you should go elsewhere. My name is Frederick, and these are my adventures. Five thirty, and the excitement is on top. Thirty-one kilometers, two people that don't want to talk, and uh, totally dark. <laughs> we'll see. A few hours, and then the sun will look at us, and we're going to be happy again. Not everyone can handle early mornings, and they still have not woken up. But I just filmed a bit, and I personally loved waking up early and get out of nature while nature also is waking up. If it wasn't for the excitement of waking up early, I think we wouldn't have had any excitement this morning. But along the way, at least you pass some cozy villages. 8.45, we've done 15 kilometers, and everyone is super happy. Actually, yeah, 14 and a half. Everyone is super happy, look here, super happy. <laughs> so we're gonna have breakfast. That was the first leg. The other people are probably gonna join. They're gonna start now and get here in like half a day. It's open. Oh, nice. Okay, so coffee. we're gonna go in and have some breakfast and coffee. If you noticed, we've done half of today's hiking with nothing to show. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice walk in nature, but it's not that Swiss mountain experience that people are after. Having a nice little break. Everyone is on their phone and they have ice cream, but I got this badass right here. I picked the right thing, as always, because I'm smart. Today we started really early, like five, five o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, just because we wanna, we wanna get done with the day. It's the last day. We're tired. We've done 150 kilometers. Like, was it 15 kilometers up or down or something? Even more, maybe. Now we're doing something, or we're doing a part of it toward the Mont Blanc, or toward Mont Blanc or something. So it's this route going around. And I know that it's very, it's very famous apparently, and a lot of people do it both from from Asia and from the U.S. But this year with with COVID, there's no one here. But the reason why I'm saying this is, this is probably you can see what I'm filming. First of all, I'm filming away from the sun so that it doesn't go into the lens. But if you look behind me now, it's in shade. This is roughly what we're seeing. So it's not these these massive mountains. The massive mountains are on the left of me. So what they've done is they built this route around it, but you don't really get to see it, or at least not during this part. The whole day today has just felt that it's a tr transport from point A to point B. Of course, they're a very lovely place on the way, but then there are other areas of this country, which I would rather go to, where you have super nice hitters on the way, where you can just sit, chill, have a beer, food, every, every you know, Every two kilometers, you'll have a beer and enjoy life. Or wine, they have really good wine here. If you come to Switzerland to see mountains, and this is what you see, you might get a bit disappointed. It's a lot of effort for, so far, not too much output. The worst pave or underground or whatever vegetation we walked on all the way up here, that I've gone throughout this whole week, absolutely horrible. So you have these rocks, like semi-big rocks, on top of each other, and when you walk on them, they just roll backwards. So every step is like one step forward, two steps backwards. A few weeks ago, I did the whole wine route, so a wine route all the, on the all way here, all the way into Martigny, which I have down there. So it's, it's lovely, that's one thing I can recommend. They have very pretty small towns all over this place. And you can just stop. Now during COVID, it was a bit harder. But otherwise, you can just usually stop and, you know, have a glass of wine in every town. That's very enjoyable. And from this, this valley here, there's a lot of additional valleys going up. So one of them would be like where Sermat is, one is where we started. And there are many of them and it's beautiful. Each, each and every one of them, those are beautiful. And they all have little lakes. If you check my Instagram, you're going to see a few of them and they're they're just so pretty. They're very pretty. So I would totally recommend to go up there as well. And then beyond this, you have like Geneva in that area. So funny, cur currently Switzerland, the whole of Switzerland is behind here. 
if we go this way, it's what we saw the other day, we have Italy, and then ba behind me here, you would find um, France. And many parts of it is very pretty, so I'm not going to say that, you know, it's, it's a waste to do it, but I would probably break it into a different way and maybe not do one of those tours, but actually just pick my spots and go to the nicest places. So, I mean, especially now that I start putting videos online, just look at my videos, look at my photos on Instagram, and you will see what the best places are. And you can just cherry pick rather than do these, because today, until now, has just been a movement from one place to another. It's just been a transport, transport distance. And now, Finally, we're starting to get the views, but as you can see, I mean, you can compare it. If you look at my other videos, you can compare this, compare these views, with what we've seen the other days, and then you tell me which ones are nicer. A little farm up here, they do have, and this is what I'm talking about, they always have these places where you can get food, especially on touristy routes, because they, you know, can make money out of it, but otherwise it's hard to find in, in the more remote areas. But it's really cool. And all the place around you have cows. Let's quickly talk about rating. The overall experience, I would give a 5. It wasn't bad, it's just that you have very high expectations when you hike in Switzerland. For seaworthiness, I would give it a 5. It's a gentle stroll the whole day, and I did like see the whole of Valles where I usually hang out. But that's not something I think tourists should focus on if they have limited time. And it was only for less than one hour of the whole day. Lastly, physical effort, I give it a 6. We did two stretches again, 31 kilometers and 1,500 meters of ascent. But if you do only one leg per day, I would probably give the first one a two and the second one a four. So just did a huge fail. I should know better because I went in there and I started ordering and obviously it hit me. Do they only take cash? Yes, they only took cash. So it's gonna have a Coke and a cake. It was the coolest place ever. It was very, very old school. They had a wooden uh, stove, a wooden stove, so, uh, wood fired stove, whatever it's called. Um, and yeah, very, very cozy, very cozy location. But unfortunately, yeah, I don't have cash. I forgot to get cash in the last village. And if you don't have cash up here, usually you have some issues. It didn't really matter though. It was just for luxury anyway. And I had food and found a good spot. Sometimes when you eat, you just take what you can find in the shop. And I have some cookies with us, so I have carbs. But anyway, having the background, it's fine. It's kind of, it's cool. I like this. The day then continued. It was incredibly relaxing, to be honest. And there's nothing wrong with this hike. It's just that I can't recommend something when I know a hundred other places where I would rather go. So finally we made it to the lovely place of Trient. 32 kilometers in one day. It's 252, we've done 1,200, 1,300 in uh, elevation. Been a challenge. Now we're trying to find the place we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay in a cool place. I'll show you that actually. Have you ever seen a pink church? Now you have. It's a pink church. So here in Switzerland, they have pink churches. Not everywhere, but I've seen it before actually. Here we go, pink church. So coming in here, we thought that we were gonna be walking straight into Trent. However, it was just like 200 meters straight down. I'm not sure if this counts as a hotel or a hostel, but it doesn't really matter. Both the dorm and the Mongolian yurt are super cozy. But keep in mind, it's located far down a valley, so you won't get those amazing mountain views if that's what you're after. First day without any hiking. We're gonna go to the spa. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see. Oh, well, we have a huge sign in the middle. So let's rotate. My hair is amazing. There. Another glacier. Wherever we go, we have glaciers. <laughs> so we see all these other people hiking. <laughs> it's like sucks to be them. <laughs> Look at those people. They're gonna be miserable today. We're gonna go to the spa. So this is our yurt. 
There we go. Now you can see it. I'm gonna turn this around, give me a second. Looks amazing in here. We slept in here. I slept there. They slept there. We have a little dream catcher thing. I'm not sure what that is. And that was really cool. Four people, luxury yurt, Mongolian amazingness. It's super nice here, actually. There you go. That's our tour. That's the room tour. And that's everything for today. As always, please subscribe. Goodbye.